Welcome to YQ Academy SQL Interview Questions and Answers. 1. What is join? Provide example. In SQL, a join is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. It allows you to retrieve data that spans across multiple tables and establish relationships between them. Joins are performed using the join keyword and specifying the join condition. Here's an example to illustrate the concept of a join. Consider two tables, customers and orders. Let's say we want to retrieve the order details along with the customer name for each order. We can achieve this by performing a join between the customers and orders tables based on the common customer ID column. The above query joins the two tables using the join keyword and specifies the join condition on orders. Customer ID equal customers. Customer ID. It matches the rows from both tables where the customer ID values are equal. The result of the join would be 2. What is identity? In the context of databases, an identity is a property or attribute of a column that automatically generates a unique, sequential numeric value for each new row inserted into a table. This property is commonly referred to as an identity column or an auto increment column. The purpose of using an identity column is to provide a unique identifier for each row in the table without requiring manual input or duplication checks. 3. What is a view in SQL? How to create one. A view is a virtual table derived from one or more existing tables or views. It acts as a stored query that can be treated and used like a table. Views allow you to encapsulate complex queries, define subsets of data, and provide an additional layer of abstraction for data retrieval without altering the original underlying tables. Creating a view. To create a view, you use the create view statement followed by a name for the view and a select statement that defines the data to be included in the view. Let's consider an example where we want to create a view that retrieves the names and email addresses of customers who have placed orders in the last 30 days. We assume we have two tables, customers and orders. To create the view, we can use the following query. In the above example, we created a view named Recent Customers that retrieves the customer names and email addresses from the customers table, joined with the orders table based on the common customer ID column. The view includes only the customers who have placed orders in the last 30 days. Once the view is created, it can be used like a regular table in subsequent queries. This query will retrieve the data from the recent customer's view, which contains the filtered subset of customer information based on the defined criteria. 4. What are the use cases of view? 1. Simplifying complex queries. Views allow you to encapsulate complex and frequently used queries into a single view. This simplifies the query syntax, improves readability, and reduces the potential for errors. Instead of writing the same complex query multiple times, you can create a view and refer to it whenever needed. 2. Data security and access control. Views can be used to enforce security and control access to sensitive data. By creating views that include only specific columns or rows of a table, you can limit the data that certain users or roles can see. This provides an additional layer of security by preventing direct access to the underlying tables. 3. Data Abstraction and Simplification Views can abstract the underlying database structure by presenting a simplified and meaningful subset of data to users or applications. This allows you to hide the complexity of the underlying tables and provide a more intuitive and user-friendly interface for data retrieval. 4. Aggregating Data Views can be used to aggregate data from multiple tables or perform calculations. For example, you can create a view that calculates the total sales per customer or the average salary of employees in a department. These aggregated views simplify reporting and analysis tasks. 5. Joining multiple tables. Views can combine data from multiple tables into a single virtual table. This is particularly useful when working with complex relationships between tables. By creating a view that joins the necessary tables, you can simplify queries and avoid writing complex join conditions repeatedly. 6. Providing data consistency. 
Use can be used to ensure data consistency by defining rules or transformations on the underlying tables. For example, you can create an updatable view that applies certain constraints or rules on the data before it is stored in the tables. This helps maintain data integrity and consistency across the database. 7. Query Reusability Views promote query reusability by encapsulating frequently used queries. Once a view is created, it can be referenced in multiple queries, eliminating the need to rewrite the same query logic. This saves development time and reduces the chances of errors or inconsistencies. 8. Creating and refactoring. Use provide a layer of abstraction that allows you to upgrade or refactor the underlying tables without affecting the applications or queries that use them. By keeping the view intact and modifying the underlying tables, you can maintain backward compatibility and minimize the impact of changes. 5. What is a trigger? In the context of databases, a trigger is a special type of stored program that automatically executes in response to specific events or actions performed on a table. It is associated with a particular table and is triggered by events such as data modification insert, update, or delete or database operations, e.g., table creation or deletion. Triggers allow you to define custom logic that automatically executes before or after the triggering event, enabling you to enforce business rules, maintain data integrity, or perform additional actions. 6. What is a stored procedure? In the context of databases, a stored procedure is a named collection of SQL statements and procedural logic that is stored and executed on the database server. It is a type of database object that encapsulates a set of operations or a specific task and can be called and executed multiple times with different parameters. Stored procedures offer several benefits, including code reusability, improved performance, and enhanced security. To create a stored procedure, you typically use a specific syntax supported by the database management system you are working with. The exact syntax may vary slightly depending on the database system and its specific implementation of stored procedures. Here's a general example of creating a simple stored procedure. In the above example, a stored procedure named procedure underscore name is created with two input parameters. The procedure body contains SQL statements and logic that will be executed when the procedure is called. The provided parameters can be used in the SQL code within the procedure. Stored procedures can be called using the execute or exec command, passing the necessary arguments. 7. What is the difference between trigger and stored procedure? 1. Trigger. Trigger is a database object that automatically executes in response to specific events or actions performed on a table, such as data modification insert, update, delete or database operations, e.g., table creation or deletion. Triggers are associated with a specific table and are triggered by events occurring on that table. Triggers are typically used to enforce business rules, maintain data integrity, perform data auditing, or automate specific actions in response to data changes. Triggers execute implicitly, without being directly called or invoked. Triggers are tied to the triggering event and execute within the transaction that caused the event. Triggers can access the old and new values of the affected data during the event. Triggers are often used to perform actions related to the data being modified or the specific event being triggered. 2. Stored Procedure Stored Procedure is a named collection of SQL statements and procedural logic that is stored and executed on the database server. Stored procedures are reusable database objects that can be called and executed multiple times with different parameters. Stored procedures are typically used to encapsulate a set of operations or a specific task that needs to be performed repeatedly. Stored procedures are explicitly called or invoked by applications or users. Stored procedures can accept input parameters and return output values. Stored procedures can include control flow logic, conditional statements, loops, and exception handling. Stored procedures are often used to implement complex business logic improve code modularity and reusability, and provide performance benefits by reducing network traffic. This is the end of our SQL interview questions. We hope you enjoyed learning with YQ Academy. Until next time,
goodbye.